Hi! Omega Chaos again uh, with another episode of Revolution of Rank Up and this time I am doing a new deck on this series, my Rank Up Galaxia deck which replaces my uh, previous deck uh, Rank Up Chaos Dragon so let's see how it goes Hmm, this hand is not too bad, I can definitely do some things mm -hmm. But I'm not sure what I should do exactly. Mm, I, I am running Parsec in, in Interstellar Dragon in here because I think it's pretty good. But because of, of course this deck runs a lot of other rates. So what I'm currently thinking, what's the best move here? I think for now I'm going to Spells on Pot on Thrasher And then just attack Also sorry that this video is going to be late I couldn't really record on uh, Tuesday because I was just so tired And I'm currently pre pre preparing uh, To revamp my channel a little bit You might have noticed that uh, um, that uh, I added something to my channel name it's not just Omega oh Chaos, it's Omega oh Chaos yu -Oh. it's just because um, I'm planning to make some other channels as well which uh, focus on um, other stuff that is not uh, Yu-Gi-Oh related so uh, my channel is now Omega oh oh Chaos yu -Oh. and other channels will be like something like something else like for example if I'm going to make a Digimon channel it's going to be Omega Chaos Digimon and if I'm going to make a Star Wars channel it's going to be Omega Chaos Star Wars so yeah just to differentiate between my different channels but of course we'll see about that because of course it's already hard to manage, manage this channel and of course it's going to be really hard to manage like so many different channels yeah that's fine and quite honestly I'm pretty bored with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh right now because uh, yeah, the format is of course really bad um, it has been pretty much the same old format since uh, last year from September of course other decks have joined but it's still Shuttles and uh, um, Saturnites, Burning Abyss uh, and all that and of course then after that uh, Clifford and Necros so pretty much the same five decks for a really long time and it's about time that uh, uh, Tsuchi uh, uh, doing something about that but Tsuchi has been very slow in hitting uh, those decks properly of course playing a bit and Clifford got a few hits in the April panelist and Necros as well slightly but definitely not enough for sure and Oshishi panels that just came out yesterday it's um, not the best but at least it does uh, something and that's what's important so this time I'm going for Alsei the Silvan High Protector could activate effect I guess I can declare a Wink Dragon of Raw. And obviously it's not in a deck, so going to activate effect. Detach. I think I'm going to put that to the bottom. Just in case of uh, honest or something. 
Shiny to activate rank match arts and cost wars. Cost exchange. Cost numbers Yakurana, Neo Galaxy, Stock Yon Dragon. Oh yeah. I'm going to activate effect. Allowing me to negate the Reptilian Nervous effect. And then I can just attack over it. And I also have Tokyo Transmigration in my hand, so I can pretty much negate anything I want. So I'm going to end my turn. So that was a pretty nice play, I would say. At least Rank of Galaxy is more functional than the Rank of Chaos Dragon Reach, which was, yeah, yeah, very inconsistent. Oh, a dark hole. Well, I'm in that case going to have to activate that. Dark Yon Transmigration. Going to attract from the hand. So good. Of course, if you have the Galaxy as Dark Yon Dragon monster on your side, that's always pretty nice. Okay, back row as well. That's fine, I guess. Mm -mm. Galaxy Zero, that's actually pretty useful, so I could make another rank 8, if I wanted to. Rank 8, Dark and Rank Dragon's effect again. Like it seems like it's fine. In that case I'm going to attack. I don't think making a rank 8 is necessary in here. I just keep it for later, the option. Oh, it's Reptilian Naga again. Well, that kind of sucks. I think in that case, I'm going to exchange a full armor, Galaxy's full armor Photon Dragon, which allows me to destroy a face up card and also get back Arsene Chaos Force. That's pretty good. So get uh, rid of it uh, immediately. So I guess my point is some sort of playing some sort of sort of reptile deck, reptilians probably. That deck of course is not really that great. Because it's very slow and the uh, cards are not really that good. But the OCD panelists uh, hit uh, uh, quite a lot of decks. They hit uh, Necros again. So, yeah. I think now Necros are very balanced in the OCG, so And uh, then they hit Heroes as well. They hit Shadow Mist 1, which was pretty surprising, but considering how much they were dominating over there, at least um, before the Performage, uh, Performable Hybrid. Focus around abusing uh, flame mascot. Going to activate uh, chaos force again. Cause exchange change. I think I'm going to act uh, someone the chaos marvana seven again. Just to lock the opponent's back row. So yeah, cause exchange change. Now we access stuck young dragon. It might be. A third reptilian Naga, of course, but hopefully not. Hopefully, I can finish this duel. Of course, it could be pretty unlikely. Oh, Ghost of a Kraj. Well, that kind of sucks. But oh well. I think we just exist change. Number 95, Galaxy's Dark Mother Dragon. I guess, why not? Just send some dragons to the graveyard. 
Tom Pan has to banish three cards uh, from their deck, so that, that's pretty good. Of course, there was a very many odd case with uh, this card, of course, with the Dragon Rulers, but thankfully, Dragon Rulers got banned pretty much just after a Dark Matter was released, which, of course, was very good because the Dragon Rulers were completely broken with or without this card. But Dark Matter by itself is a pretty balanced card, I would say. But of, of, of course, there could be a future Dragon deck that could have used this card. Then I'm going to check with Galaxero! Reviving my Galaxize Photon Dragon. Then I'm going to normal summon this copy attribute. Looks like two control a level 8 monster. I can go for rank 8. But this time it's going to be Velgrand. It's a very powerful rank 8. Going to attack with face down. Our reptilian Garna. Ghost can search for a reptilian monster. But this is pretty much game over because even if my opponent activates a back row card, I can make un unaffected by um, by the fell ground. So I think this is game over. And it is, so yeah. So so far it's working pretty well, I would say. Of course I was playing it this deck before as well. But it never really made it into this series, but I did play it once in my Memories of Rank Up series. So uh, let's go to the next one. And I'm back. So let's see how it goes this time. You could also run of course more of a rank five or end up build maybe if um, Cyber so Dragons and all that, because of course you can summon infinity in this deck, but I don't want to go uh, that route. So I think infinity is a very broken card. Unfortunately, this hand is completely terrible. Like, I can't really do much with it at all. So, of course, the problem is with galaxies that they are kind of very inconsistent sometimes. You have to throw the right hands to be able to do something. This hand is definitely not good at, at all. I guess I still have to work on the stack to make it more consistent. But uh, the OCC brand list was definitely pretty crazy. They brought back some some very questionable cards, for example, like. Chaos Emperor Dragon to free, which is completely insane. But I guess we, if it's a Rata, it's not really as good. And they also put a gateway uh, to two, which is completely insane, considering that it's banned uh, over here in the Tushichi, and it's a very unhealthy card. And there are so many loops with that card that is yeah, completely insane. I have no idea why they uh, brought that card to two. Going to attack the Photon Crusher. I just use it for rank four plays. And going to end my turn. So yeah, I'm playing against Volcanics. Probably going to lose, unfortunately, with this bad hand and my opponent can just nuke my field pretty easily, my monsters at least. With scatter shot and all that. Unfortunately that wasn't a good draw at all. I guess I'm going to set it, why not? I probably should have attacked the face stun, but oh well. I could have put to attack mode as well. I 
Okay, put it out there. That's fine. But I'm already in such a bad position that I don't think it will even matter. Kick shot of Pepper Ice. Interesting. I guess let's cycle those scatter shots. The volcanics are pretty much the definition of a, a back row attack. They don't really have the power in their monsters, but their back row and of course the scatter shot and all that which they discard for. This time actually can do something, so I guess that's good. So I know someone. Galaxy Wizard. I'm going to make it level 8. And then we're going to activate Galaxy Expedition. A love, a love me to special a Galaxy or Photon from my deck. That's going to be Galaxy as Photon Dragon. Going to Excision Shogun. Number 107. Now avoid trap hole. Well, in that case, I have to activate Dakion Transmigration. Hmm. I turn it to attack mode and then go to battle phase. Yes, I'm going to activate mm, number one as an effect. Negate okay, 12 face of cards on the field or face up monsters on the field. That affects and which means that uh, my photon crusher won't turn to defense. And then if my opponent activates something in the battle phase, uh, this card can attack again pretty much. Oh, that's interesting. I guess I will be taking some damage, but I think it will be worth it because it's on the three effect and then I can attack again for the game. Yeah, take that 3000. Oh, and then I attack again. Yeah, game over. If my parts are activated, let's make it my cylinder, that will be. Okay. But why are you saying GG if, uh, if the game is, is not over? And in that case, going to activate Cold Hunter, bring back my. Wow, I had something as well. Well, that really sucks. In that case, I have to end my turn. Yeah, I might still lose, unfortunately. My two cards in the hand are definitely not very good. My point is just getting uh, some more card advantage. Yeah, never believe your point when your opponent says GG. It's probably not going to be if it's uh, if the game is not over already. Already, so yeah. That was definitely just bait. Raptrix Mermelo. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, 
Yeah, I kind of dislike background attacks. I quite a lot. That's why I think we still need some mass background destruction. Maybe not heavy storm or hobby fair buster, but I think something balanced that prevents a uh, back row over extension. We definitely need something like that for sure. Well, in that case, I think I have to just attack. Will activate effect. Because that trick trap or nightmare won't affect you, it was summoned in a different turn. Okay, reckless creates pretty random. But okay. And my opponent just surrendered, so I won. So I didn't think I would win this 12, but. Tranquilly managed to come through against all that back row and all that. And thankfully, no point did get, didn't get the trap card, place accelerate, reload, and of course, Kadarsa, which is their best uh, combo pretty much. So, yeah, so that went pretty well. So, uh, this is it for this uh, episode of uh, Revolution of Rank Up. So, I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode with the new uh, deck on this series, Rank Up Galaxy. So for now, uh, goodbye and Omega Chaos, out.